amazing family welcome back to lola's recipe thank you for turning in in today's video in today's recipe i'll be sharing with you how i make my coconut chin chin this chicken is very crunchy rich and delicious chicken is one of nigeria popular street snack you can get it anywhere either in the market in the supermarket on the streets anywhere in nigeria so if you want to know how i make this please keep watching i will start by measuring six cups of all-purpose flour and i'm going to sift the flour all-purpose flour is also known as play flour okay so i will be sifting six cups of all-purpose flour inside the bowl Next time we had half cup of white sugar, three quarters of powder milk, four quarters of coconut powder, one teaspoon of nutmeg, and we had one teaspoon of baking powder, and I will had half teaspoon of salt. I'm going to mix all the dry ingredients together to compile. Please, if you are making chinchi, if you want to skip any out of this ingredient, don't skip out nutmeg. Nutmeg is one of the secrets of chinchi. Please do not skip it out. But if you know, if you are allergic to the nutmeg, maybe you can replace it with cinnamon powder. I don't know, but nutmeg is very important. All right, guys. Next, I will add one egg, which I already mixed, and I will add one and a half tablespoon of organic coconut oil. All my ingredients are in room temperature. Tablespoon of melted butter, and I will be adding one teaspoon of vanilla extract. For this chinchin recipe, you don't need much uh, butter here yeah, because we are making coconut chinchin. Remember, I'm using coconut oil at the same time. I'm using coconut powder. And I will still need to use coconut milk because this contains oil already. So you have to reduce the quantity of your butter. I will mix this together with my spatula first. Then I will go ahead by using my hands to mix this very well. So I will keep mixing this until it looks like a breadcrumbs or gary. For this chin chin, if you don't want to use butter, you can use only coconut oil, okay? But I still love butter in my coconut chin chin. I just, that butter gives it more uh, uh, golden brown color. Yeah, next I will add coconut milk. I will be using one cup and four quarters cup of coconut milk and uh, the coconut milk is in room temperature as well. I will mix this together until it forms a dough. You don't want to overwork this. It is chin chin, so you don't need to knead this for a long minute. It's very simple. All my ingredients are in room temperature, even the coconut milk. Okay, at this stage, it has formed a dough. Do not over knead your, uh, your chin chin dough because if you knead your chin chin dough too much, your chin chin is going to be too hard after fry the chin chin. Okay, most especially if you are giving your, your, your children chin chin, you don't want it to be too hard. So you just have to reduce the meaning of uh, uh, that you used to knead your dough. 
At this stage, I'm going to cover this dough and allow it to rest for about 20 minutes. 20 minutes after I've come back, it is time to move to the next process, which is the cutting process. I will sprinkle some flour on my chopping board. If you have a, um, a rolling mat, you can use it. If you can do this in your kitchen desk, that is fine. I don't want to do this on my kitchen desk. So that's why I'm using chopping board. And go beyond the stars with every step. I'm going to roll out a flat dough now. You want to get a smooth and beautiful chin chin. Make sure your dough is well rolled and flat and smooth. You want to make it smooth. So at the end of the day, you will get a beautiful and smooth chin chin. At this stage, I will cut out the edges of the dough. Now we start by cutting a straight line of the, of, of the dough. We're going to be needing square shape from this chinchin. You can cut your chinchin anyhow you prefer, but this is how I normally cut my chinchin. If you discover that your dough is sticky, you can sprinkle some flour to the dough. At this stage, I'm going to use my hand to separate the uh, cut dough. You can as well use a fork or a spoon to do this, but most of the time I use hand because this chinchi is not much. It's not. I'm not making a large quantity of this. So I will use my hand to do it. So here is the first batch. So I will continue with the same process until I finish cutting all the chin chin. Next, I have my oil in my fry pan and I've already heated up this oil. I will throw some chin chin inside the oil to test to test the oil. Now I will have the chin chin to oil. I'm frying this on low on, on medium hot oil yeah on medium heat so do not let your oil too hot you know fry this on high heat heat so that your chin chin can come out very well and crunchy if the oil is too hot your chin chin will fry very quick and at the end of the day you won't get a crunching chin chin and in case stirring this you don't have the chin chin to the oil and leave it you have to keep stirring this until they are golden brown at this stage, it is golden brown. I will take the chinchi out of the oil and pour it on a kitchen paper so that I can get rid of any excess oil. Why I repeat the same process with the remaining chinchi? Then we are done. So guys, here are all the chin chin that are fried. Look at them. They are looking so beautiful. You're going to allow this to cool down completely before you start packing them inside your container. This can take like about two to three hours. Now I have my uh, glass jar here and it's time for me to start packing uh, pouring the chin chin inside a jar after some hours after i fry the chin chin you need to keep this in a airtight container and store in a cool and dry area in your kitchen you can keep it in your combo just like this it is really very simple and very easy to make if you watch this video to this very moment i say a big thank you to you all if you are new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to support this girl 
And also, don't forget, I have a membership. Please feel free to join my membership to support me. Thank you so much for watching.